Hey guys, um, I just woke up. It's how much time is it? Okay, it's seven now. I actually woke up at five, but um, I just stay in bed for a little longer. And I just had this craving for niangao. Do you know what niangao is? So it's like this um, it's a kind of cake that you eat during Chinese New Year, a Lunar New Year. I think it's made of coconut milk, glutinous rice, and non-glutinous rice. Does it make sense? I think it's it's kind of weird that you put like glutinous rice and non-glutinous rice. So do they cancel out with each other, or what does it do? I don't quite get it, but it's fine. I got this um, a little bit after Chinese New Year. So right before Chinese New Year, I saw I started to see these um, niangao in Asian grocery stores, and I just thought like, you know what? I may want to get it like right before New Year, so I waited um, until I think it was like the New Year Eve. I went to the grocery and I just couldn't find it anywhere. I think they were just sold out until uh, I think it was like a, a week or two weeks after Chinese New Year. Um, I went to this. Um, I think I went to the grocery store in Chinatown and I saw it. And I thought it's probably a leftover from New Year, like no one wanted. But I thought, you know, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. So I got this and now let's prepare it. Um, when I was in Hong Kong, I think there was one year when my company actually gave out Nian Gao during New Year. Like a skip for all the employees. I don't know why, it was such a random thing to do, but that's what I did. And when I got Nian Gao, I was asking my colleague, like, oh, what the heck is this? Because um, I don't think I've ever seen it before in my whole life. Because even when I was eating it as a kid, I think I just saw it on the plate. I never saw, you know, Nian Gao as a whole thing. So um, I didn't know what it was. So I asked my colleagues and they told me that, um, yeah, you should just like fry it on the pan with eggs. So I tried it and I actually really liked it. So this is how it looks. It doesn't look too pretty, but I'm sure it will be good. What is chewy? Kind of sweet. Do people add sauce to this? What sauce do you add? So they were having some sushi and fried fish bento. Um, currently, we still cannot dine in here in Montreal, so we just found this little spot here. Yeah, we're just gonna eat here. Look at this. Wow, with the sauce. Um, this is a fried shrimp one. Um, this is our first time getting this. Let's see. Yeah? Yeah, the shrimp is pretty good. It's so hard to eat in the wind. Here we got this one burger here. Yeah, and then um, and the shop owner was actually really nice. He offered um that we can sit here on the patio. So we're just gonna try to finish our food here. Yeah. I like the, oh, I like the wrapper of the burger. It's like you just turn it around and it opens up for you. Okay, that's that's cool. We uh, est-ce que je pourrais avoir de mille feuilles tradition et une tarte tradition française? Okay, I just got home and um, I'm really excited to unbox this thing. It's really tight. Okay. Ooh. Careful. Yeah, it's a dust cover. 
Oh, this feels nice. I like this thing. <laughs> How shallow. What language should I choose? To use English as the main language, press the return key. <laughs> Go outside. Take a look. So first, uh, my first task was to like wrap these meat. I think it was beef first. And I had to like wrap them in um in the leaves, like the bigger leaves outside, smaller leaves inside, and I fell. And then I started to make these balls. And my balls are just too soft. So now I'm trying to make these um bigger ones. And I think they look easier to make. I think it's too big. Okay. Yay. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah, fresh. Careful. How's he doing? I need this one. Let's um, watch her you first. Look at what I got here. This is some. Um, this is my my grandpa's favorite non-alcoholic drink. Okay. This is so hard! Mm. I like the line in the mint. So nice. Mm, this is the salmon one. Look at this. Beautiful. It smells so good. This is a place that we go to like almost every single weekend. Just to get the press sushi. It's just so good. Last week we had we had a shrimp one. This week we're having a salmon one. But personally my favorite is maybe the hotate one. The um the scallop one. That one is just so good. <laughs> So what are we making today? No, we're just making some onigiri and um, the Korean folded sandwich. So it looks like you start with folding them into squares. Yeah. Alright, what ingredients do we have? Rice. Spam, cheese, kimchi, and tuna. Oh. 
he fits the square. Yep. Okay. All right. This one is um is really big. Come here. Come here. Eat. Hiking today. <laughs> Check out our lunch box. I have all these things. Maybe some, some of these. You see it? Onigiri, some, I don't know how you call it. And fruits. This is the good part of the mountain. This is hard and dangerous. I'm a responsible hiker. The Rachel Taco and Casadilla is a break. Yee! Got a poor pork burrito. This is ground pork. Yeah, ground pork taco. And the Casadilla is some. Um, what is it? Oh, spicy, spicy chicken. chicken. Yep. 